Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, doing a highly requested video and literally, I literally took this drawer out of my bathroom. It's my face mask drawer. And I'm just gonna go through, ooh, sorry, it's heavy. I'm just gonna go through my entire face mask collection with you. So for those of you who are beauty collectors slash hoarders like myself, this will be fun for you to see. And then for those of you who are new to masks, maybe a little bit intimidated by masking and not sure where to start, I will point out like the favorites and must haves as we go. And let's dive straight in. Okay, so I have it organized into little baskets as you saw. This first basket is four different Glam Glow masks. I love Glam Glow. Glam Glow, <laughs> kind of a tongue twister when you say it. Um, probably the first mask I ever fell in love with. They sort of swept the scene with this first, I think this was their first one that came out, Tingle Exfoliant. It's like a mud mask. It definitely tingles. But it is like a miracle mask. The first time I used it the next morning, like acne scars I had had for like my whole life were just gone without a trace. I was like, where did they go? Okay, sorry, this mask just kind of exploded on me. But this one is maybe the one I'm most excited to show you in this whole collection. It's by Glam Glow and it is called the Glitter Mask. And it's well named because I don't know if you can see, it has actual glitter in it. It's so beautiful. Like actual silver stars. I will insert a picture of myself wearing it because I love this mask. I mean, aside just from the gimmick of the fun glitter, it's a great mask and it's very satisfying because it peels off. I love a peel off mask just for the joy of peeling it. It feels so good. Um, but then throw in the fact that this one is just gorgeous and it's a huge win for me. <laughs> okay, then from Glam Glow, this one is their firming treatment, Gravity Mud. And it's another one that looks really cool. It's a silverescent, pearly mask. So beautiful. Also a peel that you get to peel off in a sheet. And until then, you look like the Tin Man walking around, if you can see that swatch. It's very metallic. So, you know what? I think beauty should be fun. I think we should enjoy it or else we're never gonna do it. If you dread like putting on your mask because it just doesn't smell good or it doesn't feel good or it's not fun, you're never gonna do it. You know, like it's hard to make yourself do something you don't wanna do. But when it's so fun and pretty, you're gonna do it. So in my opinion, that's the best. Um, and then this is probably my favorite Glam Glow mask. And out of all of that I'm gonna show you, this is one of my top recommendations. It is their Thirsty Mud. It smells like actual heaven. Mm, it's like kind of a coconutty scent and it's just a very thick, hydrating, creamy, delicious perfection. I love to use this one on airplanes. Oops, sorry, I totally just bumped you. Um, I don't know why I'm trying to show you because there's not much to see. My hands are gonna be crazy after this, but it's just so hydrating, it's so good. I like to wear it on airplanes to like form a barrier on your skin and protect your skin. You can sleep in it, it's just a hydrating dream. Okay, speaking of masks you can sleep in, this is another cult favorite. It's the Glow Recipe Watermelon Sleeping Mask. Let's give it points for packaging. This is a beautiful, perfect pink, and I just adore it. And then it smells like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. In the words of Skinny Confidential, she nailed it with that. Mmm, it smells so good. I definitely bought it for the scent. Um, but that said, it's a great sleeping mask. What's cool about it is it exfoliates gently um, while you sleep. So when you wake up and wash it off your face, it's just like a brand new baby face that you just revealed. So that's another top recommendation in this video. Here's one by Fresh. I love Fresh masks. This is their Vitamin Nectar Mask and it smells like orange juice. So nice. It's really good. It's packed with vitamins and nutrients. I take supplements for my body, but I love the feeling of like delivering nutrients to my skin. It has almost like a jelly texture and it's just so good. Like it'll really make your skin glow because it's nourished. That said, it's not my favorite fresh mask. So wait for some more fresh recommendations before you decide what to get from this. But this one's great. My only negative thing about it is that it makes it hard to blink because it's very sticky and it just gets your eyelids like it's stuck, <laughs> but it's worth it because it's so nice. All right, moving on to this basket. Here's a drugstore option. 
This is the Garnier Skin Active. You can use it as a moisturizer, but I actually like to layer it on really thick and use it as an overnight mask. It's rose scented, it's creamy, it's luxurious. It's just pretty, um, I was gonna say pretty, but it's just pure white. I mean, that is pretty. Anyway, I just love this one. And for a drugstore option, I, I turn back to it a lot. Okay, this one's Tatcha. I love Tatcha products. This is their Radiant Mask, Radiance Mask. And it's another fun one because it's purple. I just love fun looking masks. This does not peel, but it is um, extra, like supercharges your skin. I'm trying to think of the right way to put it. But it has a lot of vitamin C, which is such a powerful ingredient for the skin. And then it looks like a fun color. <sighs> I love it. Tasha can do no wrong in my opinion. So I love this mask, but it's very spendy. A lot of these are. Take that into account how you will, but um, if you're gonna spend that much, there might be more um, that I prefer like the results of. But you know, if you just, if you have the money and you want a really fun purple mask that's gonna pack your skin with vitamin C, go for it. Okay, this is just a little guy that I got a, in a kit. You okay, puppy? Sorry, my dog was sneezing. So this is a Peter Thomas Roth mask. Overall, not my favorite brand for masks, but kind of a cult favorite, so there's something to it. This is the 24 karat gold mask, and like obviously, can we just take a minute to appreciate how beautiful and gold it is? Um, I've heard some mixed reviews on whether gold is actually good for your skin or not, but you know what, no matter what, it's just fun <laughs> and it feels decadent. So I, especially for this little size, I thought it was worth it. I almost just have it as a novelty though, cause I don't, I've only used it once or twice. I should mention, I know this collection's out of control, but I, well, A, I do this like for a job to review for you guys, but B, I just love masks. Like it's my happy place. It's what I love doing. Ideally I start and end every day with a mask. I. Obviously you don't want to overdo it with active ingredients, but with some of these like more soothing ones, you can literally do them every single day. Okay, this one is by First Aid Beauty and it's their five in one bouncy mask. And it's true to its name. It has like a bouncy texture and it kind of smooths out over the skin. I was going to put it on, but I have makeup on. Um, and this one's so cool because it does five in one things. Let's see, it nourishes, calms, firms, plumps, and refines. So this says you can use it three times a week. I feel like this is one of the more gentle ones you could almost get away with using more often than that if you wanted to. But this is a top recommendation. I love this guy. Okay, what's left in this? I have a sample of another little fresh one. This is their Lotus Youth Preserve. It's got little chunks of, I think that's seaweed or kelp? Seaweed. Um, definitely made me look radiant, youthful, and glowy after I was done with it, but I don't know if I'll buy the full size because it's really expensive. And then this is actually not a mask. This is the Tatcha enzyme powder. Sometimes I like to exfoliate before I mask so that I have like a primed canvas. Okay, on this side I have some more full size masks. This one's a fresh black tea instant firming overnight mask. It smells so good. Mm, it has like a perfect spa type smell in my mind. Um, it's great, you wear it overnight. Still not my favorite mask by Fresh. This is my favorite mask by Fresh and I can't recommend it highly enough. It's their Black Tea Instant Perfecting. So again, it smells like black tea, it smells delicious. It has the nicest texture. I don't know if you can see this like gorgeous creamy texture. I actually did this one before I get ready today. So if I look at all glowy, let's give the credit to this. And it's just like, oh, so nice. You're meant to wear this one before going out. Most of these I consider like an end of the night kind of treatment, like winding down, then you let your skin rest. But this one actually just makes you instantly like glowy and more perfect. Can you see? It's just a creamy texture right there. And I love that one. This is by far my overall favorite out of everything. I always come back to this one. Here's the only Peter Thomas Roth one I have in a full size. It's Rose Stem Cell. Such a fun, funky pink. And it's packed with antioxidants from the roses. Roses are like an amazing ingredient for skincare. It has this fun jelly type of consistency again. And you can use this one also as a sleeping mask or as a wash off mask. And then I'm wearing my Glossier sweatshirt for this. <laughs> and I've got the Glossier Moisturizing Moon Mask. They actually make two different masks. This is my favorite one that they do. 
and it's just very moisturizing and creamy. I tend to gravitate toward moisturizing masks because my skin can be a bit dehydrated. Obviously you can tailor your mask collection to whatever your skin concerns are, but that's why a lot of these have found their way into my heart. <laughs> so that one's great for moisturizing. Okay, next we have this little container here. Sorry, my battery died and while it was being charged, I decided to put on that glitter mask so you could see it better from Glam Glow. And I'll peel these off so you can see how they peel once they're dry. Okay, so onto this next little tub of masky goodness. Uh, I already took this one out. So this is by Paracone MD, great line. And it's called the Firming Foam Mask. And what's really fun about it is right there in the name it tells you it foams and it feels so cool because these little bubbles are like popping on your skin you see when you put it on you can't even tell it's right here it's just clear but i'll show you in a second it'll start popping and i feel like that's really good at clearing out your pores anything that's under the surface level sort of bubbles out they say it's firming but the biggest perk i've seen from it is that it's hydrating like my skin feels really nice afterward so you can see it's already starting to foam up a little bit actually almost looks kind of gross like my skin's bubbling off <laughs> but it's great okay while we let that get a little more active because it's not showing up too well on camera but yeah you can see um you just let it get fully bubbly and then you wipe it off this is a cool mask that i heard of through the skinny confidential also um it's from sweden it has literally three ingredients two ingredients just clay and water and I don't use it as a full mask, but I will use it if I have a pimple as like a spot treatment overnight. And it just sucks everything out of your skin. I feel like this would be pretty harsh to put all over your whole face, but for certain skin types that might be worth looking into. Okay, these are really fun. These are by Dr. Jart. I love the packaging. It's just way different. Um, this is the only one I've tried and this is the rubber soothing mask. They all have sort of different things that they target. But this is very soothing, which is, again, kind of what I gravitate, gravitate towards for my skin because it's dehydrated, it's like reactive, and this is soothing and awesome. So the thing is, it's very slippery and slidey, and you need to like lay still when you have it on. <laughs> Here's a mask that gets so much hype, and I think for good reason. It's the TLC Baby Facial by Drunk Elephant. I love this line, and this mask is amazing. It's a very potent exfoliator it's got aha and bha so that means it works to exfoliate your face on two different levels i use this once a week religiously and it gives you like a fresh face for the new week it's like truly you have a little baby face i will say it like burns and tingles when you put it on i've had a bad reaction to a face mask before i know you wouldn't think so because i'm so addicted to them <laughs> but i religiously test my masks like what i'm doing now or on the inside of my hand See how bubbly this got, by the way? It's kind of crazy. And then you just wipe it away and all that bad stuff is gone. Um, so I always test for a reaction and I had tested this and I didn't have a reaction, but I was scared when I put it on because it burns. Like I had to, I have to fan myself when I put this on because it burns. You know, like when your mom would like blow on your wound. <laughs> like I have to do this when I have the mask on. But I think a little pain is worth the gain because it truly makes your skin so glowy the next day. It's amazing. And exfoliation is a really important part of skincare that we kind of overlook sometimes. So if you can get that from a mask, and like that's not a mask I would say to use every day, not at all. Like just once a week, get those exfoliations going, and then you can use a more soothing mask other nights. Like for instance this one, this is a must for me love this mask it's by first aid beauty again and it's their ultra repair instant oatmeal mask and it's so soothing for the skin it has i want to say it has banana too it definitely has oatmeal maybe no banana i think i'm thinking of um a mask from lush but anyway this one is so great i just find it really soothes my skin it's got like a chunky texture it smells good. I don't know. It's got actual like oatmeal in it and I love this one. I come to it anytime I feel like I need a little soothing. Um, don't do a face mask if you've had any kind of sun that day at all. Even if you don't look burned, if you're at all sensitive from the sun, do not use a mask. If you have any open wounds on your face, like don't use a mask. But 
barring those circumstances, if my skin is a little irritated, I'll use something like this to calm it down and it works really well. Also with this and with all of these, put it in the fridge. It'll feel cold and refreshing and it's so nice. Okay, I have a few, okay, yeah. This one's by Rin, it's called Ever Calm. And this is another one that's just really soothing. If you have skin like me that can get a little bit worked up sometimes, this is their Ultra Comforting Rescue Mask and it is very soothing. Rin is a great line, it's very natural, I love it. All right, this one is by Dr. Hauschka. Great natural line, you can actually buy this at like Whole Foods and Sephora. But this is their revitalizing mask. And as you can tell, I'm almost out of it. I love this mask. This is another one that's way up there for me. It's just a creamy kind of greenish, if you can see it there at all. And it's so soothing and revitalizing. The dog's having a dream. Oh, she's so cute. Hello, hello, it's okay. Oh, she was having like a little nightmare. Okay, um, come say hi, because they don't know who just did that. Lolita, come here, come here. She's so sweet, she just woke up and she's gonna race over. Oh, you good girl. I know it's her, because she always does that. Hi, say hi. She's such a good girl. Okay, sorry, a little doggy detour. All right, so this is a revitalizing mask. I love this one, because it just perks your skin up. It's another one that's very soothing and gentle. You can do it a lot, but I feel like at least once a week I need to turn to this just to make my skin have that glow to it again. You can also mix a little bit into lotion and like wear it all day. All right, this is another peeling mask and it's by Bosha and this one is so fun because it's pink. Pink is my favorite. I've always used their black peeling mask, which is fantastic, I highly recommend it. But this one, I'm on my second tube. Maybe you're not supposed to do that. This one is pink. Oh, I love it. It's so fun. It's like actual bubblegum pink. And I think it, I don't know if it's exactly the same as their black one, but with different ingredients to make it pink. But it works to me the same way. It feels so satisfying to peel it off. I think they make the best peels I've ever tried. And like seriously, look at that bubblegum pink. Ah, I love it. Okay. So this is right up there with one of the really fun, just colorful, vibrant masks. All right, that's, oh, no, I also have their black mask. So I think this is pretty much the same thing. Um, at least it feels the same. This is their luminizing black mask. Also so satisfying because it just peels off in one fantastic chunk. You definitely need to warn whoever you live with if you're gonna be wearing this because it's kind of scary looking. All of these are pretty scary looking, like let's be real. Okay, now we are into sheet masks. Sheet masks are great, they're very beginner friendly. If you're totally overwhelmed by everything I've said so far and you're like, ah, I don't know what to do, sheet masks are a perfect starting point. You literally just lay it on your face, take it off after 10 minutes, usually just moisturize the product in and you just leave it overnight. So. Oh, this is actually a hand mask, really cool. It's by Karuna. I love to moisturize my hands. And if you're a mask addict, that's kind of a fun, different thing to try. I just picked this up with Sephora, so I can't tell you how it is yet, but it's a watermelon after sun mask. I know I just said never, ever, ever mask after sun because I've had a bad reaction as part of that, but this one's designed for it. So I'm going to hesitantly test that out. I still wouldn't use it on a full, on a full sunburn, but if you're just like a little bit flush from the sun, it's supposed to help cool and calm the skin. I'm sure you could stick it in the fridge and that'd be even better. Okay, here's a line of sheet masks I really like. They're by Tony Moly. Very affordable, very accessible. I've had good experiences with all the ones I've tried. This is one of my favorites. It's a rose mask. It's so pretty looking too. Um, I just really like this line. I think it's a good beginner friendly starting point too. On the opposite end of the spectrum, this one's an investment. It's by Charlotte Tilbury. It's a dry mask. So weird and different, but it's a dry sheet that you attach and it like hooks around your ears and then you massage it to release the active ingredients into your skin. I didn't, I put off trying this for the longest time because I was like, a dry mask, the whole point of a mask is it's like a product that's going onto your skin. Like how would that work? It wouldn't work, blah, blah, blah. I finally got it and tried it and I like massaged the heck out of my face and I was shocked my face was red afterward. Like bright red. So I know the pro and I could feel the product working, 
So I was just really surprised to realize how effective it is, even though it's dry. So that's kind of fascinating. And you can get like at least three, I get like up to five uses out of one of these. So it kind of cushions the price a little bit, but it's still more of an investment piece <laughs> of mask. These two I picked up just because they're fun. They're milk and honey masks. Obviously my channel is called Milk and Honey Life. And I just love the idea of milk and honey. It's like nourishing and moisturizing. And these masks are from a K Beauty store. So I think they're meant to be used like one after another if you really want to go to town like yours truly. All right, let's see what else. Okay, Nature Republic makes some amazing masks. Also K-Beauty. This one is a honey, a royal jelly one. Royal jelly is an amazing ingredient. It's like nature's miracle. Then these are from the Face Shop, which is also K-Beauty. How cute are these? This one's Snow White and this one's Mickey. And I got their whole like Disney line when they came out with Disney face masks. I wish they'd bring them back. I want to stock up again. These are the only two I have left. So I'm kind of like hoarding them for a special night when I like watch Snow White and wear the mask or something. I like to theme my face masks with my relaxation. It's a whole, it's a whole situation. I picked up this other Mickey mask at Disney. It's got hyaluronic acid. So it's very moisturizing. This is, these are from ASOS. One of my friends through here alerted me to these and I was so happy another Disney line. There's a jasmine face mask that has jasmine green tea. There's a Sleeping Beauty one that has lavender. I have two of those. And then there's an Ariel one that has cucumber and I think it had some seaweed ingredients. So those are just so fun. Like I said, I love to theme it, like watch the movie and wear the mask and have a whole relaxing night. They have like a little print on them of the princesses. So you can kind of see what that's like. Um, this I just got at Whole Foods. A Cure is another good natural line. This is an argon oil and hyaluronic acid mask. So two major powerful ingredients. Um, argon oil is anti-inflammatory. It's so hydrating and awesome. I use the straight oil on my skin all the time. And then hyaluronic acid is a great ingredient for drawing moisture into the skin and like really retaining it. So that mask makes my skin like plump with hydration. Okay, I told you I like to theme my mask. I got these animal ones at Ulta for my husband and I to do after we went to the zoo. <laughs> he doesn't usually mask with me, but if I really, really, really beg and there's like a fun component, like it looks like a superhero or an animal, I can kind of talk him into it, but it's a stretch. But anyway, these were great. This one's a tiger and this one's a lion and they both do different things, but I think they're kind of pretty similar. Coconut water. Yeah, they have coconut water. I don't know, I like those. Okay, now we're into the realm of other kinds of masking. I do eye masks just about every single morning. It's like my little treat to get myself out of bed. It's like a, better than a cup of coffee, an ice cold eye mask, because I keep it in my little skincare fridge on my counter. Told you I was obsessed. <laughs> these are fantastic. These are by Chlorine. I really like these. They're very soothing. They're very sticky. Like they're not gonna slide around your face at all. Um, but they're not my all time favorite eye masks. You know what? I don't even have my favorite eye masks here. Well, it's by the Peter Thomas Roth line. These are, this is a one single use of their cucumber masks, which are okay. My favorite is the cloud serum one. I'll put the information down below, but it's super hydrating and has hyaluronic acid and it looks awesome. Okay. These are by a cool natural line called KNC and they look like shooting stars under your eyes. I think they're worth it just for that fun selfie opportunity but also they have retinol in them which is a really great ingredient for sort of just revitalizing your skin and fighting aging okay here's the thing people have asked me before like are eye masks and lip masks even necessary are they even a thing like what the heck in my opinion yes 100 percent if you believe in the power of masking <laughs> i sound like i'm really preaching but honestly if you think there's any value at all in masking which i hope you do then you have to look at it as like your eyes don't get touched by the mask and your lips don't get touched by the mask, but there's still parts of your face. They still need love. So I personally enjoy doing eye masks and lip masks for that reason. You can even multi mask and layer those under a sheet mask. If you really want to go to town or, you know, put a face mask around your eye mask, whatever. Lip masks are fun. And if you're prone to dry lips, like I am, sorry, my chair is squeaky. Uh, they're a lifesaver. So a lot of times I'll do one of these in the morning too. Um, this is ridiculous, but if I ever have like a really strong craving and I know whatever I'm craving is not healthy for me, it's not going to make me feel good. Sometimes I'll do a lip mask because <laughs> you can't eat when you're doing a lip mask. And that way 
the craving passes, my lips are hydrated, and I didn't just have like gluten or something that doesn't work well for my body. So weird little tip there. But this one is fun. I think I picked this up at Ulta. It's a very liquidy lip mask. These I get at Sephora. They have a shea one and a rose one. These are both really nice too, but also kind of like I was a little disappointed after I tried them because they're more of a cloth texture and I like a really um, jelly lip mask. So these I actually got a big pack on Amazon. It's a K-Beauty product. And I love these maybe the most because they're the most affordable and they've got that nice jelly texture and they're fun to use. These are also really nice. They're by K&C Beauty, that same brand that does the eye things. They're so pretty and these are cool because they're collagen infused. So you know that's good for like plumping the skin. Our skin stops producing its own collagen eventually, so anytime you can like reinfuse with collagen is a great thing. And then this is actually a nail mask, kind of cool. You just put it on like a glove, and then this is another glove, lotion infused moisturizing gloves that I love. So, <sighs> this is a collection I have procured over years, and like I said, I use a mask every morning and night, so. Don't feel intimidated. I just want to show you what I have and you can decide where you want to jump in. Let's peel these off. So this is the glitter mask. Look how pretty. And I don't know if I put, oh yeah, look at that. Oh, it's so satisfying. You just get this like little sheet when you're done. <laughs> Same thing over here is that silver one. These are both by Glam Glow. I don't know if I put enough. When you do a peel mask, you want to be pretty generous so you can get a good peel. That was kind of stingy, but yeah, there we go. A little sheet of mask, and then you can see all the stuff that comes out of your skin. And then I don't know if these two, these two aren't dry yet, but these are the Bosha peeling masks. I just love the pink one. Okay, I couldn't do this mask video without talking about this because this is a recent favorite. Ula and Rikson Cold Plunge. I showed this on a vlog. Oh dang, that was like more than I wanted to show, to use. It's so pretty. It makes your skin this beautiful bluish green. I absolutely love it and it's minty and so refreshing like the term cold plunge is very accurate it just makes your skin not tingle in a bad way but just feel very refreshed and then you wash it off with cool water and it's just like ah, I like to do this one in the morning and I'm just like ready to go and so so nice and it's actually for minimizing pores like I said that's not a huge concern of mine but it's such a great mask but I'll use it anyway. So especially if you have pores that you want to shrink, definitely, definitely check that one out. And that's another fun looking one. So, okay, I think we've covered it all. I know we've covered a lot. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Sorry, my dogs are so crazy today. DC, what are you doing? Hey, you're crazy. Okay, anyway, I'll let you guys go. Please hit subscribe if you're new to my channel. I'd love to get to know you and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.